Well, hello and welcome from Lou in Cornwall. Hello. Yes, we're back in Lou. We were here earlier in the year. We were. Around May, June time. And it was really nice weather. Mm -hmm. But saying that, it's October. And it's not too bad, is it? Well. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't seen that video of Lou in the summer, I'll link it below, okay? Mm -hmm. But today, I'm doing something a bit different. Because I'm going to take the coastal path from Lou to Polpero, about five and a half miles. But you're thinking, Mel's with you. She doesn't do walking. I do walk in, not with you. You're not doing this walk though, are you? No. She's going shopping I'm in the town. <laughs> Why would I want to do a five mile walk? So anyway, come with me. Silly. Come with me, and like Mel, as I take mm. you from Lou all the way around to Polpero. So firstly, I have to start from West Lou, which is over there. In the summer, they do have a little boat going back and forth, but I have to go down and cross over the bridge and back around, and then we're going to head towards the coast. So I was over on that bank, I've crossed over the bridge, and now I walked up the side of West Loo and the coastal path starts proper. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of ups and downs on this. So I'm still on the outskirts of Lou at the moment, walking along the seafront. But in front of me is Lou Island. Apparently there's a lot of history over there. Monastic remains, there's a Time Team episode about it. So look that one up. Good old Tony Robinson. Lou Island. If you're a local, let me know if this is true. On a very low tide, only a few times a year, you can walk to Lou Island. Is that true? Or if it's true, is it very rare? Let me know below. So I'm leaving the road behind and starting the footpath proper. Well, it is quite windy today. Hopefully you can hear me on this microphone. I'm walking directly into the wind as well as I travel along the path. But behind me, up there, there's another path. And apparently there's a few ruins of an old church up there, which is related to the Holy Island. Again, if you watch that episode of Time Team, you can find out, find out more because they did some excavations up there. But I haven't got time for that today, unfortunately because I've got quite a way to go still along the coastal path towards Talon Bay and then Porpero. It's looking pretty nice. Richard and Judy are meant to have a house in Talon Bay. Not a fan personally. I think he's a real life Alan Partridge. I haven't got to my first major hill yet, but I think that's about to change.
sun's trying to come out and it is really warm. I think it's like 18 or 19 degrees. Very unusual for this country in October. So I'm just wet. Time for a little breather, I think. The walk is deceptive. I thought I was closer to Talon Bay than I was. <laughs> you go around one corner and it's around another corner. And now I have reached Talon Bay. So from here, it's another one and a half miles to Polpero. Unfortunately, it involves going up a steep hill, very steep. This place still has a red telephone box. And not like in London, they have it for tourists. It's just forgotten about. There's a phone in it. What do you think? Do you think the phone will be working? Covered in cobwebs. No, it wasn't working. This place does have a calf and it's open. So it could be a good spot to have a break. I've just remembered, well, Mel remembered. She gave me this, apple juice and a caramel wafer bar. Lunch of champions. Well done, Mel. Well, let's get going again. You never really get the steepness on the camera. I'm walking up just on my toes. Not long to go. I can see the little lighthouse just before Polpero. And there's some sort of platform out there, like a, a work platform. I don't know what they're working on. So I'm just entering Polpero, coming down the hill. I just found out what the platform's for. It's Southwest Water doing repairs on the sewage system. Anyway, 
Let's have a quick look around Polpero. Wow, that was my walk from Lou to Polpero. And here I am at Polpero Harbour. And look at this weather. It's October and it was really warm. And the walk itself wasn't as bad as the reviews I read. They said it was really steep. It wasn't that bad. And even Talent Bay, you know, it's, I would say, moderate. Anyway, if you want to find out more about Lou or Paul Perro, check out the videos I made earlier in the year. And for more walks, especially around South Wales, check out my other channel, Marcus Walks. And I'll see you in one of those. Bye.